I'm going to share something with you that very few talk about when starting a glamping business. Very few people raise this and it is the most important thing. In fact, you could call it the secret to getting your new glamping business right. So few people consider this aspect. They go straight to the structures, they go straight to the land, but that's not the right place to start. This is where you start when you begin a glamping business. This is episode two. Welcome to the Glamping Americas podcast, the place for inspiration about the business of upscale camping, glamping and luxury outdoor guest accommodations. I'm Sarah Riley from the Glamping Academy and I'm working with my friends at the Glamping Show Americas to share everything you need to know about new trends, events, business models and investment potential in the rapidly growing world of luxury camping that delivers an experience interest in this industry is exploding so if you want to be the first to find out what's hot and what's not subscribe here and check out the show notes for more exciting news and links and be sure to add the next glamping show americas to your calendar for the 3rd and 4th of october near denver colorado and i'll see you there i can't wait there's nothing more exciting than taking a trip and becoming hypnotized by the unique experience that you've just had. Maybe you've just been glamping in the mountains. Maybe you've just been staying in a cabin with your family. Maybe you've even tried out a tree house or stayed in a luxury tent with the most amazingly comfortable bed. And then on the way home, you start thinking, this is something I could do. This is something we could do. You start excitedly talking about it with your family, with your partner. You start planning what you could do to actually emulate exactly what you've experienced. But you can also think about how this will change your life, how this will change your lifestyle, how it will make everything look different. You will no longer need to go to the office to be stuck inside, out of the fresh air, stuck looking at the same four walls. You may even be in an office where there's not even a tiny bit of greenery nearby. All you can hear is the bustle of the city. All you can hear are the traffic, vehicles out on the road, the sirens, and you long for something different. And when you experience something different yourself, something amazing to do with a hobby that you love, maybe camping is something you did very much as a child, maybe it's something that your family did, or maybe it's new to you and you didn't really do it at all because you didn't like the idea of sharing your space with the wildlife and sleeping on the floor in the uncomfortable coldness that sometimes being outdoors can bring. But once you experience glamping, true glamping, true luxury in the dark sky environment with the nature that you can hear just outside within a stone's throw of where you're staying, you've sat with your family around the campfire, you're warm, you're comfortable, you're swapping stories, you're having time together that you've not had before because you've been so busy in life, you're feeling inspired, you are experiencing something, there's a bit of a shift, there's something that you're experiencing in your ideas, in your mind, things are opening up a little bit for you. This is something that really starts to get the blood bubbling with excitement. This is something that people so often tell me was the beginning of their glamping business journey. It was from experiencing something themselves and then taking the next step and applying it to their own business to get rid of the things in their life that they didn't want and to attract the things in their life that they really did. And it's really quite inspiring for me to hear this. It's something that I pretty much live for. This is why I do what I do, to watch the joy in the faces of the people when they go from just an idea to actually implementing and carrying out and having a business at the end. And I have now helped so many people do this. I've actually got success stories galore from people around the world who have 
achieved what maybe you're hoping to achieve. Or maybe you have been following a business guru. Or maybe you've seen about glamping in the news. So maybe you haven't even experienced it directly yourself, but you can see why people are so inspired by it and enjoy it. You have the eye for an opportunity and that's what's got your attention. And this is something that you're starting to really think through. Or maybe you already have a few short stay vacation properties, something that maybe you share on some of the big OTAs out there. And you've been thinking about maybe you could diversify your portfolio by looking at serviced holiday accommodation such as glamping. Because of course, glamping has the added advantage that it is not as expensive to set up as bricks and mortar, which means that the setup costs are going to be less for you. And hopefully the long term return on investment is going to be paid off much quicker. And that for anybody, even if they're not business minded, is definitely seen as an advantage. Or maybe you got a little bit curious about the whole thing of glamping and the glamping industry. You heard it was a word. You thought, wow, what's this all about? And you decided to visit the glamping show Americas in Colorado. And this got you inspired about how you could actually dive into this business idea and set something up yourself. So there's lots of reasons why you might have started to pay attention to the glamping industry. And then actually, once you start diving in, you start to realize that the only limit is your imagination to what you can actually set up. Because there are so many structures out there, so many ideas, and actually, you can design your own thing completely from scratch. And this potential is just simply irresistible to some. You start thinking about what kind of experience you would offer if you owned a glamping business. You would think through the clever ideas that you've been collecting over a lifetime of being a consumer, staying in hotels, staying in other unique businesses, or maybe even looking into alternative lifestyles. But where do you start? That's the question, where do you start? So it's not research. You don't start at the research stage. You don't start even at the structure stage. You don't think about the land. You don't think about how your business model actually might be structured. You don't think about your business plan or or your finances. And you certainly don't start deciding your business model and whether you're going to be going for lease or rent or ownership or franchise or anything else. And we will be talking through the business models available to you in the next episode. But before that, we need to start at step one. But what is step one? Well, I've worked with so many people now that they always tell me the number one step is to start from where you want to be in life and from what you want to achieve with your business because everything else can be fit around that. And that's a really important lesson to learn from those people who have been through it. It's actually to say, you know what, this isn't about hop, skipping and jumping into all of those other stages. This is about taking a moment to dive deep into your lifestyle goals, your ideas for your business in the future, thinking about where do you want to be in the next 10 years once you've set up your business? What lifestyle aspirations do you have? So start from your goal. That's the step you need to start from and then everything else will flow from there. You will understand then of the many business models available to you, of the many structures available to you and the types of builds that you can do, you'll then understand what you need to aim for, what to achieve the lifestyle that you want to achieve. So for you, it might be purely a lifestyle goal. It might be that you have family that you're not spending much time with or that you're not actually getting outside as much as you want to. You're not interacting with people because your job is at the moment is very closed and you're feeling quite isolated. And so it might be purely a lifestyle goal. Or you might have an income goal. It might be that you're not earning enough money at the moment. So you want to look at the kind of business models available to you that will bring in a certain amount of income for you. But when I speak to people about this, it's actually quite surprising to learn that many people don't even consider their own 
thoughts and views around the lifestyle they want to have in the next five to ten years. They're more driven by what they feel they ought to do and maybe what family expectations are of them. It's really important to think about what you want, what your lifestyle needs are at this point in the life that you are now living and the age that you are. So one of the things that you can do, if you're not really clear on this, if you're not clear about your lifestyle and the future that you want, then you can do this very simple but very effective exercise. And I call it the seven whys. This is something that many coaches use to help people understand what they want out of their future and also what decisions they need to make. So I'm gonna share that with you now and I'm gonna share a little example. So let's pretend. So I've recently gone on a glamping expedition. I've stayed in an amazing, luxurious tent with my family. I've had the most amazing experience, stargazing, building fires, walking outside and hiking, but always coming back to luxury and comfort. And I start thinking to myself, I want to start a glamping business. Well, the first thing to ask is why. Why is number one. And I might answer, because I want to run my own business. But why? Because I'm tired of always having to go to the office and work hard, making other people rich. I want to take back control of my life. But why? Because I realise money isn't everything to me anymore. It's important, but I want to make a difference somehow. Why? Because my kids are getting older and I haven't spent as much time with them as I'd like and I want to build a legacy for them and something I can be proud of. But why? Because I'm passionate about their future and I want to make a difference. So I think giving them an example of someone running a business and starting a business doing something that they love is a great way to start life. But why is it so important for you to give a good example to your kids? Because as a parent, I need to show my kids about integrity, especially as they are growing up into a future where there are so many things that we don't know what's going to happen. The environment is one. And actually starting a business doing something that is environmentally sensitive and sustainable will help build a stronger future for them. And if they have integrity about what they're doing in the world that helps with that, then my job is done. Okay, so now that was only six whys. The seventh why potentially could get really deep into the reason why I would want to start this glamping business and I want to give a good example to my kids. It's about the process. It's about the exercise. It's about really going down deep into the reasons that are driving you forward that you may until now not even have faced or understood or really dug into. So this exercise really gives you an opportunity to do that. And if you aren't quite clear about what you want to do and why you want to do it and how to start your glamping business and your lifestyle needs of you and your family, then I absolutely recommend you do the seven whys. And you may, as I did, not even have to go right down to the seventh why, but the process will really help you understand what's driving you forward. I always say to people that we only have one life so it'll be a shame not to enjoy the journey and this is why setting up a new business, coming up with new ideas, being creative, talking excitedly to your family about what you're thinking can really help bring back that spark in your life. And don't just take my word for it. Listen to everyone else who has gone through this process. They've come out the other side and they've built something amazing that has brought about massive changes in their lifestyle and in their family's lifestyle. For example, there's Sarah Dusick, friend of the show and co-founder of Under Canvas USA. She moved countries to set up her business so that her and her family could achieve the lifestyle that they wanted and needed. But she also said that it was really important that her company still aligned with their values and their mission to have an impact. She has very strong environmental principles and so she wanted to start a business that was sustainable and she also wanted to make sure that she could attract investors and have a good 
profitable business. So this is what she did. There's also Ruben Martinez, who with his co-founder set up Glamping Hub. The idea being that it was a hub, a place where people could go and search for their unique vacations, their unique holidays, staying in the kind of places that you want to photograph and share on social media. Their business ideas started from a simple conversation, which happened while they were enjoying being outdoors, enjoying nature and enjoying staying in comfort. And then there's another friend of the show from Playa Viva in Mexico, David Leventhal, who decided his business model was going to be based around his lifestyle needs to put something back into the local community in which his business operated so that it would become entirely regenerative, that it would put more back into the local area than it would take away. This is just a small selection of those who have got it right. They have decided to work forward from the lifestyle needs they have, their aspirations, their desires for their family, for the environment and everything else in between. That is the place to start your glamping business dreams. You know, it's great to be a pioneer, but it can be really hard work starting from scratch. So instead, We learn quickly from pioneers who have gone before us. This saves us time, it saves us money. We don't need to figure out what works because people ahead of us are already showing us. This is why we have so much to gain by paying attention to others who are doing extremely well in this industry. And so make sure if you have dreams in this space that you not only pay attention to yourself and your family and what you need and want, but also those around you and what they can tell us about how to achieve success. Now, in the next episode, I'm going to share a few business models with you. This is a selection of ways that you can set up your own business based on my observations and work with thousands of people who have already done it. So I hope you can join me here again. Take care. Bye bye.